Hi, welcome back to Scoops and Revelations. I'm Dave Ringo, and we're going to talk about the Doctor Who lore that we learned from the story Marco Polo. Marco Polo consists of a whopping seven episodes, including The Roof of the World, The Singing Sands, 500 Eyes, The Wall of Lies, Rider from Shang 2, uh, Mighty Kublai Khan, I don't have a sixth finger because I'm holding the phone, and Assassin at Peking. The setting of the story is Central Asia, and we're told that the year is 1289. The whole story takes place over about six months, which is a long time for a Doctor Who story. Uh, not only this early, but even, generally speaking, uh, for Doctor Who. Susan says quite candidly that she is in her 16th year. This must be her true age, and it's an Earth time. So if she is from Gallifrey, that's like a baby. We learn that she has traveled, notice I'm doing the Hartnell hand gestures near my face so that you can see them. Yeah, we learn about Susan's and the doctor's apparent uh, past travels, at least one of them, because Susan says she has been to the metal seas of Venus. And Susan implies that the purpose of her travels on the doctor's travels is knowledge, because she says, one day, We'll know all the mysteries of the skies and we'll stop our wandering. So after they learn all the mysteries, I guess they're done. That seems to be the implication. Uh, Susan also says that her home planet is as far away as the night star, whatever that means. The doctor makes himself a new key for the TARDIS and the implication is that he had made the previous one. Now, the TARDIS team foil a plot by Tigana to assassinate Kublai Khan, right? That's interfering in history, isn't it? They prevent his assassination. That suggests that they've changed history. Yet we know that David Whitaker, the script editor, was very much against that idea. Either he missed that fact in the story, or we're to understand that maybe Kublai Khan would have been saved anyway? But that just kind of, you know, defeats the whole drama of the story. Like, if the doctor wasn't there to save him, then what? It would have happened the same way? Well, that stinks. So I don't think that's true. Uh, perhaps the best way to interpret this is just to acknowledge that history can be changed. And we know from later Doctor Who that that's going to be the accepted standard. So I think we just have to uh, retroactively interpret it in that fashion for the story. So those are my thoughts on the lore that we learned from Marco Polo, also called Journey to Cafe. But what about you? Did you notice anything that I didn't? Any little tidbits of information you caught? If so, let me know down in the comments section below the video. Until next time, this is Dave Ringo. Safe travels in time and space.